Today on Pro's Park Pass, I'm gonna teach you everything you need to know if you're using Genie Plus for a disability access pass. Yes, we're gonna teach you everything you know about the new Genie Plus and the disability pass. Everything. I'm gonna have a special guest, Professor Andrew, helping me out. Okay, so we're gonna meet up with Professor Andrew and we're gonna show you the experience on how to use the Genie Plus uh, for as your disability access pass. It is very, very convenient and it's easy to do. Sometimes when people get a little overwhelmed, like I don't know how to do this. We're gonna break it down for you step by step to show you how you can have the best vacation here when you come here to Disneyland. Okay, so let's talk about the different type of DAS passes that Disneyland offers because there are two different types that they offer. The first one is called the standard return time. You just go and let the intendant know that you have like a wheelchair or electric convenience vehicle, something's difficult for somebody, they'll give you return time to come back. Very easy, you don't need an app or anything, you just go and talk to the, uh, the cast member. The second is called the DAS, D-A-S. And what does DAS stand for? Disability Access Service. Now this is something that Disneyland has had, but they have really improved it with the Genie Plus. I'm just gonna say is Genie Plus has made the DAS experience amazing. Let me walk through how to use it. So now we're gonna show you, we got Andrew right there. Come along, it is ECV. Is it ECV or EVC? EVC. <laughs> Electric convenience vehicle, so EVC. And we are gonna go through Splash Mountain. And we're gonna show you how to do a DAS Pass, a regular DAS Pass. This is not an advanced DAS Pass. This is just like if you don't have a reservation, how to do a regular DAS Pass on Splash Mountain. So let's go down there and show them, right Andrew? Yeah. And off he goes, like a shot. Oh right, guys, he brought he brought the the country bears. We'll talk more about that in a moment. Andrew doesn't know this, but I'm not really taking him to Splash Mountain. I'm going to take him to Canoes, my favorite attraction. They have an elevator there that's for people with disabilities that can use the elevator to get on a canoe. So I'm gonna make Andrew do Canoes, then we're all gonna get hot and sweaty. Then we'll go do Splash Mountain. Let's go! Let's go! Hey, Andrew, guess where we're at? Canoes! Did you know they have an elevator? Let's go do the canoes, Andrew! We can take this down. <laughs> we're doing it, baby. So they have an elevator here at the canoes. You just have to let a cast member know that you need to use it. And they'll come up here and allow us to use the canoes. That's what we're gonna do. There we go, got Andrew loaded in. And there he goes. Okay, the thing about the canoes is you do have to be able to get out of your electric convenience vehicle or wheelchair to get into a canoe. So you are out you. Yeah, you have to, Andrew. We're doing it. We're taking Thank our canoes, guys. You. Paddles up, paddles up. One hand on the fish tail, the other one near the blade, and on three, we're gonna push that water back. Ready, set, go. I said on three. <laughs> oh, dang it. Bro, you guys are doing great. What am I about to have? Well, our first rule of the day, never ever stop paddling. If you don't row, we don't go. No. So we're kind of going by Star Wars Land, Galaxy Edge. I feel like this is an attraction that should be there because we're paddle ones. I'm so Okay, take a break, take a break. We're all going to have this boat turned upside down. You can wear it as a hat because it'd be capsized. Up here. Yay! Look at these cannons! Oh, More dear. like small arms. Oh. Oh. How are you feeling? I'm good. Yeah, you guys can stop. Keep smiling, keep paddling. <laughs> good job, guys. If there's only one attraction you could do. You guys had a great time. Yeah. 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 You guys are going again by yourselves, right? Yeah. <laughs> just the two of us. Just the two of us. Yeah. I was just that good. You're just, Serena, you are just that good. Thank you. <laughs> We're gonna put Andrew in there. So Andrew, remember the Tower of Terror? Okay, it's just like that. Well, yeah, just like the Tower of Terror. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. Andrew and the Bears. Now, something to be aware of if you're gonna use this, you do have to push the button. So you have to have somebody yeah. capable of pushing the button in order to use the elevator. All the way up, open the door, and out comes Andrew. Woo! Now I know it's gonna be a letdown, but let's go do Splash Mountain. The, that, the day's over, guys. 
We started at the top. Everything's downhill from there, including Slice Mountain. Woo! Oh, so, so. Hey, what is? You gotta like. You gotta pop it. Pop that collar there. There you go. It's half was half popped. They're looking, looking very 80s. Okay, in order to use the disability pass on Splash Mountain, you go right to the exit to let him know that you need that. That's where Andrew's going right now. All right, so Splash Mountain is closed. So what we're gonna do is Andrew has an advanced dash pass right now for, at 1.30 for Indiana Jones. So we'll now go use our advanced dash pass. So the very first time we did this video, a video about attending Disney if you have a disability, Andrew had reached out to me. I did not know Andrew before I started Provost Park Pass. And he reached out and says, hey, uh, would you mind being able to do this? There's a lot of questions, a lot of misinformation. And I was like, sure, absolutely. We did that video and uh, after that video came out, we had so many people message us telling us thank you. We had people say stuff like my daughter is wheelchair bound and we didn't know how to bring her to Disney but thank you for the video we felt super comfortable or we have people say my significant other and we were, we were concerned and we didn't know how to do this but those videos have helped us have a wonderful time at Disney. So because of that anytime Disney updates their disability uh, plan or how to, how to come to Disney with a disability we will always make a brand new video that's most current so that way anybody can come to Disneyland and enjoy the day because it's for everybody. Disney is for everybody. They want everybody to have a magical experience. Now, some of you might be asking like, wow, it seems like you kind of got to go through a little bit of hoops to, to be able to use this. Let me explain to you why what happened. Disney is aware of the fact that some people who come, you know, it's a little more difficult for them to come to Disney because of their body or things that are happening. You know, it makes it a little harder for them to wait in the queue line or wait. So they would let people who had those disabilities go to the kind of towards the front of the line. And it was, it worked great. But then after a while, this is back in the olden days, people kind of caught on to that fact. So people would start to rent wheelchairs and pretend that they had a disability just so they didn't have to wait in line. I have no words for that. Disney became aware of that situation. So they're like, hey, we really want this to be something for people who really need it. For people who have a difficulty waiting in line. Not just for people who don't want to wait in line, for people who have a hard time. So they keep coming up with new ways to make the experience better. So that way the people who really need this experience get the experience. There, there you go. All right, let's continue on. Okay, so what happened was, is Andrew on his advanced disability pass, he selected the Haunted Mansion and Indiana Jones. This has been kind of a crazy day. Guess what happened? The Haunted Mansion, it went down. But what they do, because you have that advanced pass for him that he reserved, they just give him an experience where he can go back to almost any other attraction and, and ride it. You can't use it for rides though. I know you want to, but you, you can't. So even if you lose your even if you lose your selection, you can use it. You need to go back later on during that day or go to a different attraction. So it doesn't matter. You're still gonna have a magical day. By the way, I need you guys down below. Let's settle this argument once and for all. I'm tired of it. We know that I'm right. What was better attraction, Winnie the Pooh or Country Bear Jamboree? We all know it's Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> Andrew got this, if you believe it, it's from Tokyo Disney. He's a big Country Bear fan. Bad attraction, but whatever. Andrew went on and he has an advanced pass, which means that he went out and pre-registered for this. So we're gonna come in here now for Indiana Jones and use that. That's one of the benefits of pre-registering is that you're gonna get two advanced passes, which is awesome. Be sure to do that. So we have the passes here. The way you do it is you come right underneath here where it says cargo, you show me passes to give you passes to get on Indiana Jones. Now, Indiana Jones is kind of a special attraction. Most attractions aren't like this. If you have that DAS pass, you can go right here and you can redeem it. They'll give you this, and now that way you go right through the exit. And with Andrew, since he's in a wheelchair, it's easier to go through the exit. But if you don't mind using the lightning lane, you can just go right through there and just click in there, use the lightning lane, and you have to go up and walk through the, the, the lightning lane tunnels. But since with Andrew, with his wheelchair, we went here, got this little pass, which allows us to go through the exit. Get, even though Andrew has a disability pass and coming through the exit, you still have to wait in a little bit of a line. So be prepared for that. If waiting in line is a little bit difficult for you sometimes, have all the appropriate measures, like if you need your headphones or whatever you need, 
So that way it's not too, such a bad experience for you. In order to write Indiana Jones, you have to be able to transfer from your mobility vehicle into the attraction. Yep. Yep. We're in an elevator. Why do you think those like it? <laughs> Oh, you. No surprise, you guys are both under the lost and found department. So we are now in the elevators who take us down the loading site. Hey Andrew, why do ghosts like elevators? Because it uplifts their spirits. <laughs> When you get on an attraction, you might feel this pressure to get on fast. Take your time. It's okay. They will wait for you. They will wait for you. Take your time. You just fell down the stairs. <laughs> they just said go to life and ran, Andrew ran over because he wants to drive. You sneaky snake. Ah, uh, he's got the steering wheel. We're in trouble. What did Andrew choose for us? You see the future. I When you get up the ride, they move your electric convenience vehicle right to the exit so it's easy to get on. Okay, so we just did Indiana Jones and now we're headed over to, uh, we're gonna do Buzz Lightyear Astro Blasters. This one, we don't have an advanced pass. This is one reason to let them know, hey, uh, we're, we need a disability, the DAS pass. So we'll show you how to do it. All right, since Andrew was approved for the disability access pass, that, that means he can go on the app and he can go and reserve his next attraction. So he's gonna go reserve Buzz Lightyear on his app. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. So you'll see the little screen on the app here showing you exactly how to do that. The first thing you need to do is you need to open up your Disney app. Once the Disney app is opened up, you're gonna scroll down to the bottom and you're gonna see where it says Disability Access Service, DAS. If you're approved, that will be linked to your account. You tap on that. Once you've tapped on that, it's going to open up your different options. It shows you all the different attractions. And we want to look at Buzz Lightyear Astro Blasters. We see it's like a 45 minute wait. We click on it, we go down here, and we click on Quest Return DAS Time. Then you'll need to select all the people are going. And you notice that the main person, Andrew, is already selected the check mark. We're going to select other two people are going and hit the continue button. We hit confirm and now we have that pass and you can see view my days as redeem anytime after 205. And there we go. So now you're gonna scroll down and you can see right there it says Buzz Lightyear Astro Blasters and it says anytime after 205 we can go. So that gives us about a 35 minute wait. We're gonna head over there at 205. Once you're ready to use your pass, you just go into the DAS pass there and hit redeem and it'll then you go in and just use that little redeem pass as beep, beep, beep as you go through the traction. Let's go right in. So what we just did is we just took the phone and there's a little thing there. We slipped the phone in, we showed it, we scanned our access pass to get in. To infinity and beyond. We gotta get him all ready. Get him all ready. Get that figure trigger ready. He's ready. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, country bears revenge. <laughs> oh! Two hours later.
Many hours later. Moments later. Three hours later, one hour later, yes, we will return, sir, to the store. He is a bad toy. You know what's not important? Score. As long as you're having fun. Uh, you drive you out for CP. <laughs> when he says CP, you might be thinking he means cerebral palsy. No, he means Chris Provost. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now that we've done that, the Buzz Lightyear, we are now going to show you how to do the monorail. This is kind of an important thing to know because at the end of the day, uh, if you are like parked down there, or if you're staying at like a Disneyland hotel. You might not want to walk all the way down and beat the crowd. You can take the monorail all the way down. Yeah, it's super easy and convenient. Monorail! Monorail! Hey, Andrew, is that true that Autopia is better than Country Big Jamboree? What? I love to tease them. So anyways, there's multiple speeds on this. And normally, Andrew like walks with me, but after that last joke, he just took off super fast. Put it on, you put it on a rabbit. Catch it up though, Andrew. What is his name? Henry. 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 What do you think Henry takes camping? What? <laughs> the bare necessities. <laughs> Andrew, what's his name? Rocket? Rocket? No. Rocket? Rocket. <laughs> it's Sammy. So Andrew has cerebral palsy. That means, you know, his body sometimes doesn't always do what he wants him to do. But his mind is sharp as a tack. He got his master's degree, everything except. Get that out of here. <laughs> he roots for the wrong team. He's not as smart as I thought he was. All right. So I did a video about how Richard Nixon, when he was vice president, got kidnapped on the monorail. You can watch that video here, 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 here. I don't know. But here's my perfect and big Richard Nixon impersonation. Oh, I am not a crook. Let's see. Come on, Andrew. Let's see what you can do. Yes, I crook. Now, if you're getting on the monorail, you have an electric convenience vehicle, an ECV. I'll put a ramp right there so you can drive right on in. Super easy, and they're gonna put a little brake stop for him right down here. Watch your toes. Oh, watch my toes. That way, Andrew can't just like back out on accident. So, when you come into the monorail station, and if you have a wheelchair or electric convenience vehicle, when you come in, they'll tell you which car to go to. It's usually car number four. But they'll say, go down to car number four, the door number four, and they'll wheel you right on. It's so convenient. It's nice and easy. Wait, easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Uh, now we just pulled into the station. They're gonna bring a ramp up for him. We'll put the ramp there, they'll remove the little brake thing, and then he's gonna back out. I'm just gonna grab those, okay? You guys are good to go when you're ready. Perfect. I'm gonna get out.
don't feel rushed. When you're coming off of that, a lot of times people feel super rushed, like I have to get off pretty fast. They'll take your time, don't worry about it. You reel on and off, it's, take as much time as you need. Literally, don't feel rushed. Hey Andrew. What? Why do ghosts like to take the elevator? It lifts up their spirits. <laughs> So we just took the monorail to downtown Disney. Here we are, ah, and it's wonderful. It's very nice because with if you're on a wheelchair, you can save a lot of time walking through the crowd. You come right on down here. You have a nice little elevator. You get out of here. And you do a little shopping. You go eat, or you go back to the hotel, or you go to the parking. Super convenient. Makes it fun. So if you want to come downtown Disney, it's easy to do. To be honest with you, I don't know where we're going. I'm just kind of following Andrew. Alice, what are you doing? <laughs> it's not scary. What? We're in front of Sprinkles? Oh yeah, we're in front of Sprinkles. Let's get a cupcake. Let's get a cupcake. <laughs> Let's do this. So I left Andrew out in the shade. I told him that I was gonna treat him to a cupcake, but I'm not gonna tell him which one. I'm just gonna get him a cupcake. All right, what did I get Andrew? You know what, I'm gonna give him Sprinkle. And then you know what? I'm gonna do a uh, salty caramel. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. I was trying to decide which one to get Andrew. The first choice they had, they had a uh, strawberry tequila, but you're driving, so I didn't get that. But I got you, I thought would be perfect for you. Sprinkles. <laughs> Doesn't that look like Andrew? Oh my gosh! Almost got my finger! <laughs> An accident, you say? <laughs> I don't know. Boy, isn't that a sweet face to look at? Get it? I went to take a photo. I come back. The cupcake's gone! We didn't even, like, we didn't even get partake of it together. When somebody wants a cupcake, they want a cupcake. I thought we were gonna eat it together and talk about our day, but no, he just ate it. I got the salted caramel, by the way. Mm. So good. Is it just me? Is the frosting the best part? It's the best part. I just want the frosting. I like want to. I want to swim in it. I, sh I take a bath in it. I can throw the cupcake part away and just eat the frosting. We just turned the camera off, and Andrew told me a joke. Prepare to hear the dumbest joke you've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Andrew, take it away. What do you call a three-tiered cup? What do you call a three-tiered cupcake? What? The cup. Frosty the cup, man. <laughs> That is the dumbest one I've ever heard in my life. And I haven't even said something or bad. But Frosty the Cup Man. <laughs> that joke is so bad, it takes the cupcake. <laughs> now we wanted to show you something here. We're right by the trams. And so for parking, you might be thinking, well, Chris, what about parking? Well, see this right here? Here's the tram. At the very front of the tram, they have a little ramp right there. <laughs> you can use that ramp to wheel right onto the, the tram cart and it'll whisk you right away to your back to your car or from the parking structure right here. Very convenient. So you just go right to the very front of the tram and get in line and you'll wheel the wheel right on. In order to use this new and approved DAS service on Genie Plus, you have to pre-register before your park visit and you can do the up to 30 days to two days before you come. So if it's like two days before, you do it all the way up to 30 days before you visit. You gotta pre-register. Now where do you go to pre-register? You go to Disneyland.com or Disneyworld.com. It's really important before you go to pre-register for your DAS experience that every single person who's going to Disney with you has their ticket and has their reservations for the park. You have to do those two things before you pre-register. Because if you don't, then they're not gonna be linked to your account. 
Okay, so now you have all the tickets purchased, you have the reservations, you're gonna log in and you are going to do the DAS reservation. This is going to allow you to use the DAS pass on the Genie Plus when you go to the park. Andrew told me to say this, a tip that he does whenever he comes to the park is all the people he's coming with, he will buy all of their tickets, that way they're already linked to his Disney Experience app, and then he just has them Venmo him back, and then he also gets the Marriott reward points. That little sneaky snake. Now, in order to pre-register, you're going to have to do a video conference call with a Disney representative to let them know exactly what disability you have to find out if you qualify for the DAS Pass. Hi, Andrew. How can I help you out tonight? Yes, I need you for just a for DAS Pass. These interview slots are offered seven days a week. For Disneyland, they're offered from nine in the morning till eight in the evening, Pacific Standard Time. Disney World is from seven in the morning till 10 o'clock at night, Eastern Standard Time. This interview process, the queue can sometimes get quite extensive. It can take a couple of hours. So you really, the tip that Andrew gave me is you wanna get in first thing in the morning. He's like, there's usually not a wait. If you wait until the afternoon to call, then you're put in a queue and you have to wait and wait and wait until you get accepted and your queue time comes up for the video conference call. Try to do it first thing in the morning. Now, I know what you might be asking yourself. So, well, Chris, I don't want to do all that. I just, can I just go to the park and we just go register the park? Yes, you can't do that. But there is a bonus if you do it early. You can get two advanced reservations for any of these attractions. So, Andrew went and pre registered online this video conference call. And then he told the person that was assisting him, he's like, I would like Indiana Jones and Haunted Mansion. And they gave him those times they already had on his app. So when he got here to the park today, he had those those little like, almost think of them like fast passes, lightning lanes, whatever you want to call them. And at one and one thirty, he was able to go right to those attractions. That is a bonus of pre-registering. You get two advanced reservations. Awesome. Or you might be like, I hate technology. I don't want to do this. I don't want to get a phone calls or whatever it is. For whatever reason, you don't want to pre-register. That's perfectly fine. Then when you come here on your first day of vacation, go to guest relations and then they will put your DAS uh, access on your app. So you don't have to do the phone call. But you're not going to get those two extra advanced reservations, which are awesome. And another thing, is just somebody just noted, they're like, was this free? Yeah, yeah, it's free. Now, how do you use this? Once you've been approved on your Disney app, you're down the very lower, if you scroll all the way down the Disney app, the lower left-hand corner, you're gonna have a DAS button, D-A-S button. You click on that DAS button, and that's gonna show you a list of all the different attractions and the different turn times. You can only have one attraction selected at a time. So you click on, say, I wanna go on Hyperspace Mountain. Click on that, it'll give you a return time. Once you've used that, then you can go select another uh, attraction. Now here's the difference between this and Genie Plus. You know how if you buy Genie Plus, you can only use it for one attraction, then once you've burned that one attraction, you can't go again on Genie Plus? Well, that's not true. With DAS Pass, you can select the same attractions over and over and over again, not a problem. But you can only have one attraction selected at a time, unless you have those two pre-registered ones, which you should do. Get the pre-registered, have those two extra attractions, and then you get here, you get another one. It's like three attractions. I don't know why, Andrew wrote down a whole bunch of notes for me, and he literally wrote stroller swap. And he's like, you could do a stroller swap. I think he meant to say child swap, because I mean, who's just gonna be swapping strollers around in the park? I don't even know. But here's what happens. If you like have a child and the disability access service, and I go in, I can tell the attendant, hey, uh, we're gonna leave the child out here. They will let you do that. You can do a child swap. Do not be swapping strollers. Andrew, stroller swap? And just in case you don't believe me, literally, stroller swap right there. <laughs> You can use the DAS Pass and Genie Plus together at the same time, but if you pre-registered everybody who's gonna be coming to you with Disneyland, all your family members, they all can use the DAS Pass with that one person who has a disability. So you don't really need the Genie Plus. Just uh, so you know, um, the more you know. Let's say you don't have a smartphone, you don't wanna use technology, and you're like, ah, it's just too much, I just can't do that. Not a problem, Disney will still take care of you. What you can do, just like the old ways, you go up to the guest relations desk and let them know and they'll give you a return time for a particular attraction, whichever attraction you want to do. If you watch our older videos on going to Disney with a disability, we'll show you how to do that there. In fact, we're gonna show you how we did that in old video. You can go to a guest relations kiosk found throughout the park and you can find those on the Disneyland app. You go up to those kiosks and let them know that you would like to ride like the Big Thunder Mountain Railroad or a more popular ride. If the ride wait time is like 50 minutes for Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, they'll give you a return time in about 50 minutes. You go back in 50 minutes, you'll be able to ride that ride without having to actually wait in the line. Here's the thing, Disney is for everybody. 
everybody deserves to come Disney and experience this magical happiness that we have here. It doesn't matter if you have a disability, it doesn't matter if you have anxiety, Disney would like you to come here and have a magical experience. And they're gonna try their best to give you that magical experience by using this DAS Pass. And I know that sometimes we get at Disney and we get here, I do it too, you get all excited, you're like, I can't wait to get on the rides, ah, it's gonna be so much fun. We get all excited, we get all hyper, and we're like, ah, we eat a lot of sugar, and we're like, ah! And then we're waiting in line, we're like, oh, why is this line so long? Why is it moving so slow? You know why it's moving so slow is because there are a lot of people here and number two sometimes it's a person who maybe takes a little bit longer time to get on an attraction or get off an attraction and if that happens that's perfectly fine that's okay here's the deal there are a lot of people out there some people are suffering with uh, physical disabilities some people maybe it's uh, they're having some like mental different types of trauma maybe you're suffering from depression sadness maybe some of you are in a bad relationship Maybe some of you are just struggling at a job and it's very difficult. Maybe some of you are trying to go to school and it's just hard for you and you're having a hard time. I want you to know that you are amazing. You are awesome. I, I mean, I want you to know that. You know, uh, education is very important to me and I struggled with it so much. It didn't click until I got to about high school and all of a sudden I was able to start to figure out, oh, okay, I'm learning. But I really struggled in my younger years. It was very difficult for me. But it's okay. It's going to be okay. And you are going to be awesome. Just keep it up. And for those of you who maybe are struggling, I just want you to know you are loved. You have a friend here at Pearl's Park Fest. Do not give up. Keep going, keep plugging along, and experience some of this Disney magic. And the last thing I just want to say is this. Why do ghosts like to take elevators? <laughs> just kidding, that's not what I want to say. I just want to say thank you so much, Andrew, for giving me this information and going with me today here at the park. It's a big help. And for all those people who've watched these videos and appreciate these videos and are able to come to Disneyland, I'm just thrilled to keep doing this. Anytime that Disney updates their disability, their disability access service, I will come and do a new video so you guys know how to go to Disney because I want everybody to feel this magic. You're awesome. Hit that subscribe button, hit that little notification bell, hit the like, leave a comment. I don't know, whatever you guys want to do. I mean, just thank you for watching. All right, guys, have a fantastic day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.